What's going on everyone and welcome back to Electronics Episode 2. In this episode, we are going to talk about the two main types of current. You have AC or alternating current and you have DC or direct current. Now the chances are, if you are watching this video on a computer right now, you're probably using both of these two types of current and we're going to get to that in a little bit. But first of all, where in the world can you find these two types of current in your everyday life? Well, alternating current can be found most commonly in a wall outlet. So in your house, you know, you have the little things on the wall that you plug stuff into. It has either uh, two or three little prongs on it. You guys all know what a wall outlet is. And these wall outlets output alternating current. So wall outlets will give off alternating current. When you plug something in, it's taking alternating current. DC or direct current, however, comes from things most commonly a battery. So of course batteries, they have the, the little plus on them and the minus sign and you gotta plug them in the right way. You guys all know what a battery is, come on. So a battery gives off direct current. Now we're gonna talk about why these two things are completely different in a little bit, but let's get some more examples. Alternating current powers things like a refrigerator or an electric stove, big appliances. So big appliances like that run on alternating current. Other electronic devices usually will run on direct current. So your cell phone, your computer, all those things, a flashlight, anything that uses a battery is running on direct current. Now I'm sure some of you just stopped right there and said, wait a second, I plug my phone into the wall outlet every night to charge it. Well, Codemore, you just said that a wall outlet gives off alternating current, but my phone runs on direct current. So what's the problem there? Well, that brings me to my next point. Alternating current can be converted into direct current and vice versa. Direct current can be converted into alternating current with the help of some special electronic devices. So when you plug your phone in to the wall outlet at night, so you plug your phone into the charger, right? And here's your, here's your phone here, phone. What the charger actually does is it takes the alternating current coming out of the wall outlet, it converts it into DC current, direct current, and then it gives it to your phone to charge the battery in your phone. This is the same thing as for your computer. You plug your computer or your laptop into the wall to charge it or to run your desktop to computer or whatever. Well, the computer is actually transferring or taking that alternating current, converting it into direct current, and then that direct current is what runs your computer or your phone or anything like that. So these two types of current can be converted in, into one another with the help of other electronic devices, which we'll get to in the far future. So now that you guys hopefully understand alternating and direct current and what they're used for, what is the main difference between them? Well, let's do this. Let me draw a little line here. Now this green line here is going to represent a regular wire. So a wire that, electro that electricity is traveling through. Now when alternating current travels through a wire, it's going to be traveling in this direction, right? It's going to be traveling that way, and then uh-oh, all of a sudden, it's going to switch directions, and it's going to begin traveling the other way. Then, again, it's going to switch directions, and it's going to begin traveling this way again. Then, very quickly, it's going to begin traveling the other way. It alternates which direction it travels on the wire. So alternating current is going to alternate or switch directions in which it's traveling. And it happens many, many, many times every single second. This electricity is switching directions on which way it's moving. Direct current, on the other hand, is going to move in one direction the whole time. It's not going to switch directions. It's always going to go in the same direction in which you hooked up your circuit. So alternating current switches directions many of times. It'll go back and forth across wire. Direct current is going to go in one direction only. Now, of course, there's a lot more behind all that stuff that I just said. There's a lot more sciencey stuff behind all that. But for right now, you guys just need to know that they can be converted into each other. And alternating current switches the direction that it moves in, and direct current travels in one direction always. Now, for the duration of this electronics tutorial series, we are mainly going to be using direct current current. We're going to talk about alternating current a little bit throughout the series, but mainly we are going to be working with direct current only. And that's because many small electronic components that we're going to be learning run on direct current and not alternating current. So hopefully you guys learned a lot about alternating and direct current. If you have any questions at all, go down in the below in the comments, post any questions, either I or someone helpful in the comments will hopefully answer your question or get you guys to understand something more if you have problems with that. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next electronics episode.